The 2032 Summer Olympic Games are set to be held in Brisbane, and it seems that the city is already preparing for a spectacular outing. Australia has a rich sporting culture, and this time they're pushing for one of its most popular sports to be included in the Games. Cricket may be slated to be in the Olympic Games in Los Angeles in 2028, if Cricket Australia gets its way. First of all, the bid for cricket to be included is happening. It's official. The International Cricket Council confirmed late last year that they've set up a working group to bid for the game's inclusion in the Los Angeles games. The last time cricket was a part of the Olympics was way back in 1900, but it could well become a permanent fixture in the games, with the ICC hoping to see it included in Brisbane in 2032 and beyond. Of course, Cricket Australia is putting its full weight behind the bid. There's been a strong push for cricket to become a part of global sporting events. It won a place in the 2022 Commonwealth Games in Birmingham. It was only for the women's event and not the men's. But things really started coming together when the other two big cricketing nations, India and England, also got behind the idea. Historically, these two big players were opposed to the inclusion of cricket in the games. But now they've come together and are making room for the possibility in the 2023 to 2031 calendar. But it's really not that simple. Cricket was excluded from the provisional list of 28 games for 2028. Even though it's on the back foot, there is still hope. It's on the list of nine open for review. The final decision is expected in the second quarter of 2023, when the IOC is scheduled to meet in Mumbai. The ICC is planning a lobbying and PR blitz ahead of a defining period that will determine cricket's fate at the 2028 Games. But what is Cricket Australia doing for the campaign? Australia is getting behind the Get Cricket to the Olympics bid big time. The larger aim is to expand participation and maintain the game's position not just at home but abroad as well. And and while 2028 is still on the cards, the main aim is the 2032 Brisbane Olympics. The Cricket Board released a Where the Game Grows plan earlier this week. This will strive to double the number of children between the ages of 5 and 12 years playing the game over the next five years. Out of the 210,000 children, 60,000 of them will be girls. One of the key targets of the program is to make cricket more relevant to the 2032 games. And currently, Cricket Australia's ambitious program is part of the International Cricket Council's presentation for the organizers, as part of the pitch that's happening later this month. But the island nation has already been making its presence felt with the cricket win at the Commonwealth Games. Their women's T20 team made its debut appearance and defeated India to win the first ever gold medal. This was a good display of the fact that cricket can draw the kind of interest and audience required of the games. Brisbane's GABA cricket pitch will also be renovated into a 50,000-seat stadium for the games. They're also working on the sustainable future side of things, which will improve the spectator experience and maintain the country's dominance on the international cricket scene. But is cricket a good choice for the Olympics? It's definitely a good way to expand the audience for the games. The Olympics require new markets and audiences going ahead. One of the biggest reasons that it should and deserves to be a part of the games is because of the viewership of numbers. A huge population of people watch cricket and enjoy the game pretty Pretty well. The sport is wildly popular in South Asia, an audience that the Olympics has traditionally struggled with. If they do decide to include cricket, then it's definitely going to increase viewership numbers by the millions. Short versions of the sports also lend themselves well to the Olympics format. The day-long sport will most likely be a much shorter and quicker version at the global event. This could make for more exciting viewing, which could potentially attract a more diverse audience. And what stands in the way of the sport making it to the Olympics. The only time we saw cricket at the Olympics was in the year 1900. That's more than a hundred years ago. So why was it discontinued almost immediately? Well, for starters, there were only two teams that played the sport back then at the Games, France and Britain. It didn't really make much sense. And as the years went back and broadcast numbers became an important marker of success, it still didn't make sense to include it in a global event. The gentleman's game is mostly popular only in a handful of countries. There's also a little bit of geopolitical complications. England has its own team that plays international competitions, as does Scotland and Northern Ireland. But here's the thing. At the Olympics, all of them compete under the banner of Great Britain, as does Wales. The West Indies is another major team that actually comprises players from a whole host of countries, including Jamaica, Barbados, Trinidad and Tobago, and more. The situation greatly complicates which players will be playing for what team. The facility 
abilities required for playing cricket are not something host nations may have, or may even be willing to invest in. Given that there are only a handful of nations where the sport is popular, the time and money required may just not be worth it. Typically, the Olympics are hosted by Northern Hemisphere countries, where Great Britain is the only major cricketing nation. And let's also look at what other sports are up for consideration in 2028. Besides cricket, there are eight other sports that have been invited to submit a request for information proposal. They are motorsport, karate, baseball softball, lacrosse, breaking, kickboxing, squash, and flag football. Previously, sambo, flying disc, and tech ball had all shown interest in obtaining a place at the 2028 Olympics, but it seems like they didn't make the list. The nine shortlisted sports will make their case later this month. The vague one here is motorsports. While we're not really sure exactly which discipline the International Automobile Federation will propose for the Olympics, but it is most likely to be karting. Like cricket, the last time motorsports was at the Olympics was back in 1900, and it was strange because while medals were awarded, it wasn't officially part of the program. And now, let's take a look at what else to expect at the next few editions of the Olympics. First up, the Paris 2024 edition will be the first games with the positive climate impact. The organizing committee for the Olympic and Paralympic Games Paris 2024 has joined the Global Race to Zero campaign, a United Nations framework convention on climate change initiative that aims to get businesses, cities, and the sports community working towards a zero-carbon economic recovery. Most of the facilities will be low-carbon. The energy used will be 100% renewable, and all venues will be accessible by public transports. They're also working on a low-carbon food strategy. The initiative will also offset emissions linked to transportation by supporting CO2 avoidance. This will be done through projects across five continents. These include conservation and restoration of forests. It's a really positive sign that they've agreed to align themselves with the Paris Agreement to reduce emissions by as much as 50%. And after Paris, the Olympics will head to the glamorous city of Los Angeles in 2028. In July, the IOC announced the Games will be held from 14th to 30th July. The Paralympic Games will follow the Olympics from the 15th to 27th of August. The gala opening ceremony will be split between Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum and Exposition Park and SoFi Stadium. And given that it's LA, to say that it would be a star-studded event would be an understatement. This is the third time that the city is hosting the Games, after 1932 and 1984. The actual Games will begin at a venue for the 1932 Games, the Coliseum. It'll be part of the downtown sports park which will consist of a collection of venues, including the Microsoft Theater, the Convention Center, the LA Football Club Stadium, and more. And finally, Brisbane already has 84% of the venues needed. Besides the prospect of cricket joining the Olympics in 2032, there's a lot more to look forward to for this edition of the Games. This will be the first time that the city will be hosting, but it'll be the third time for Australia. Melbourne hosted in 1956, and then Sydney in 2000. But the Sunshine Capital is no stranger to mega sports events. The 2018 Commonwealth Games on the Gold Coast were hugely successful. The city already has 84% of the event venues needed. This means the city won't have to spend a ridiculous amount of money, and the carbon footprint will be so much smaller. That's a wrap for this video. Do you think cricket will be part of the 2028 Games? And what other sports will make the cut? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.